What's howling, Lobos? Welcome back to La Mesa Live. Today is Wednesday, April 24th. I'm Angelo, and this is my co-anchor, Jesse. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Hi Lobos. The, the Defying SUV Club is now collecting your community service hour sheets. Please turn them in into Mrs. Rojas or Mrs. Burleson to receive a certificate of completion. We have one more meeting in May. Listen to the announcements for upcoming events. Attention seventh graders. If you're interested in being a member of next year's yearbook staff and be a part of designing this school's 25th anniversary book, come to room 472 and get an application from Mr. Jacobson. Applications to join the video production class and be a part of La Mesa Live next year are available to all interested seventh graders. Come to room 472 and see Mr. Jacobson about how to apply. Calling all 8th grade Honor Society members. You have an incentive meeting this Friday at lunch in the NPR. Also, tomorrow is our field trip to the Santa Monica Pier. See Mrs. Sandoval in room 613 for a field trip reminder sheet. Lobos, our softball tournament is finally here. Sign-ups are next Wednesday, May 1st, at lunch in the ASB room 513. You will need a team of 10 people in order to participate. Don't miss out on our last tournament of the year, Lobos. Therapy Dogs will be in the NPR during brunch today. See you there. Hey, Lobos. This month, ASB is hosting a Spirit Week. Today is your chance to show your school spirit and wear La Mesa colors. Then tomorrow, wear your favorite neon or tie-dye shirt and show your bright colors throughout La Mesa. Then on Friday, invite summer and the heat by wearing your favorite Hawaiian clothes. State testing begins next week and there's some new security policies that will be in place. In case you didn't see this on Monday when we aired it, we've been asked to show it again. Please pay close attention as the information is valuable for all of us. Good morning, Lobos. Next week, you will be taking the yearly state exams. This is an opportunity to demonstrate your knowledge and skills. The results of these tests help us to better serve you. Because we want the test to reflect what you really know and can do, it is imperative that we establish a secure testing environment. To achieve a secure testing environment, here's what all La Mesa Lobos will do. As you prepare to enter class, make sure you power down your cell phones. That's right, you must ensure that your phones are completely off. Putting them on vibrate does not count. Once you've ensured that your phone is completely off, you will place them in your backpacks. At no time may a student have the phone on them. They cannot be in any pocket. They must be placed in your backpack and stored away. Also, smartwatches are not allowed in the test environment. You must take off your smartwatches and wireless earbuds and secure them in your backpack before you enter your classroom. As you enter your classroom and greet your teacher, make sure you have everything out that you will need for a test. 
such as a free reading book in case you were to finish early. As you enter the classroom, you will place your backpacks in the back wall of a room. Your teacher will tell you where to place them. You may not have your backpacks on you. Place your free reading book under your desk before beginning the test. Once your teacher provides your test session ID, you will open up your Chromebooks and begin the login process. On the lower left hand corner, you will click on apps and select Air Secure Test to open up the appropriate app. Please note that this app has special features that allows the test administrator to find out if anyone was cheating during the test. If you were to finish early, just raise your hand and notify your teacher and you can begin the process of putting away your Chromebooks and beginning your free reading book. If you did not bring a free reading book, go ahead and ask your teacher for a quiet activity. Your teacher may provide you with a book from their library. Following all these steps will ensure that La Mesa will have a secure testing environment for next week. Thank you, Lobos. Auditions for the Golden Valley Fall Play, The 39 Steps, will be held on the Golden Valley campus in room 601 on May 7th from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. They are looking for some incoming ninth graders. There will be cold readings from this outrageously funny script. Please contact Mrs. Prusha at jprusha at heartdistrict.org or see Mrs. Frias in room 234 for a sign-up time. If you are in the Wednesday Circle of Friends group, we are meeting today in the NPR. See you there. Jewel Sandoval positively affirmed Hannah Medlin, Jamie Blow, and Gwen Sheridan. It reads, Y'all are the best people I've ever met. I don't know what my life would be like without you. Love you guys. Students and staff, you all are invited to participate in the MS Walk 2019 in Santa Barbara. When the MS Walk began in 1988, there, there were no disease modifying medications. Today, there are 16 medications that slow the progression of the disease. Because of all the people who participate in the walk and or donate funds, there has been over $1 billion to make incredible breakthroughs. Mr. Patterson has MS and wants to challenge all of you to make a difference. If you Google MS Walk Santa Barbara 2019 Team Patterson, you will be able to make a difference. Thank you so much. Today in history, on April 24th, 1962, the first coast-to-coast -coast telecast by satellite took place as signals from California were bounced off an orbiting weather balloon and received in Massachusetts. Today is also the birthday of music icon Barbara Streisand. She is 77 years old. The word of the day for today is hostage. It is a noun. The definition is a person taken by force to make sure the taker's demands are met. A captive, a sample sentence would be, the terrorists decided to take several hostages so that people took their demands seriously. Something you should know about today. Today is National Administrative Professionals Day also known as Secretary's Day or Admin Day. It is observed on the Wednesday of the last full week in April of each year. It is a day to recognize the work of secretaries, administrative assistants, receptionists, and other administrative support professionals. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. For Jesse and the entire crew of La Mesa Live, I'm Angelo. Have a winning Tuesday.